Hi everybody, you guys have an assignment called Monohybrid Mice. Practice problems for monohybrid crosses are below. Let's look at the directions. Solve each problem showing your work in the Punnett square. These are the Punnett squares and you can type in them. For each cross, give the genotypes and the phenotypes of the offspring and the probability of getting each. List the genotypes and phenotypes in the table seen by each problem. This is the table, genotypes, phenotypes. Answer the questions that accompany each problem. Well, here's what you need to know about your little mice today. In the laboratory mice, gray coat or gray fur is a capital G. It's dominant over albino or white coat, the allele is a lowercase g. Capital G and lowercase g are both called alleles. Here's our first problem. We're going to cross a female, capital G, lowercase g, with a male, lowercase, lowercase. I want you to take a look. Now, I, I'm not going to write in these little boxes. I made it a little bit bigger over here. Boom. And let's see here. Um, capital G lowercase g, well there's a capital and a capital is gray coat. So if you have one capital, automatically this mouse has gray fur. And I'm gonna put the first two alleles for the female parent at the top. Along the side, I've got the male mouse. His alleles are lowercase g, lowercase g. He is pure for being albino or white fur. I'm going to put his genes along the side. It's time to cross them. Now it's a 100% chance that they're going to make little mouse babies. So one big box is a 100% chance babies are happening. Each box represents a 20% chance that different genes will be passed on from the mom, mouse, and dad mouse to the offspring. I'm going to look at the mom's alleles at the top. I'm going to bring her first capital G down. Um, I'm going to keep the capital letter on the left. You're going to see that set up in life. You're going to see capitals stay to the left. Capital, capital. I'm going to bring her second allele down. Um, I could put hers on the left or the right. It really doesn't matter because I see that the other alleles are all lowercase. So I brought mom's alleles down. I'm going to take dad's alleles and pull them to the right. So cat, lowercase g, lowercase g. Here's dad's second allele. I'm just gonna pop it in the first box, make a copy over in the second box. Once you make this cross, or once you have the mom's genes, the dad's genes, and then you show here in a Punnett square the alleles that are gonna be passed along, now you've got questions to answer that are listed below problem one. Number one says, what is the probability of getting gray offspring? Well, let's see it? here. Offspring will be gray if there's at least one capital G in their genotypes. Well, let's see here. What are the genotypes? The genotypes we have today, uh, let's see, are only two kinds up here. I know there are four boxes, but there are only two types of genotypes. The mice will either be capital lowercase g, which is called hybrid, or they'll have two lowercase g's, which are pure. And phenotypes, let's see, capital lowercase, uh, that's going to be gray because it's got that capital letter for gray. And two of those albino mean it's going to be white fur or we're going to call that albino. Why are these mice not albino, although they have the albino gene? Well, they're just carriers of that lowercase gene. They will show gray because they have a capital, but they'll be carriers of that lowercase albino gene, but they're never going to actually show that white fur. I'm going to zip over here to your questions. What's the probability of getting gray offspring? Well, two of the boxes are going to give us gray offspring. Each box is worth 25%. So there's a 50% chance that you're gonna have gray offspring. 
Uh, number two, what's the probability of getting albino offspring? Well, let's see. This box is worth 25%. This box is worth 25%. I see genotypes for albino fur here. 25 plus 25 is a 50% chance of having little mouse babies that are albino. Number three, how many possible genotypes are there among the offspring? Well, there are only two letter combinations, so there are only two possible genotypes that these offspring could have. Number four, how many possible phenotypes are there among the offspring? Well, a phenotype, that's the physical characteristic of fur color. Well, there are only two, uh, gray and albino, that's it. Number five, what is the probability of heterozygous offspring? Heterozygous always means you have a capital and a lowercase. So take a look over here. How many boxes have a capital and a lowercase? One, two. So 25% plus 25%. There's gonna be a 50% probability of getting those heterozygous offspring. Number six, what's the probability of getting homozygous offspring? Well, here, I only have two boxes where we have two lowercase. Now, two lowercase or two uppercase, you know, both combinations here are considered homozygous. But do we have two capital Gs in any of these boxes? We don't. But we do have two boxes that have two lowercase Gs. We have a 50% chance of having homozygous offspring. What color is the female mouse? When you look up here, the female is capital lowercase. And you know that capital G is gray. So she's gray. And the male, well, the male is lowercase, lowercase G. And lowercase, lowercase is albino. So he is albino. I hope you feel like you have a stronger understanding of how to complete these problems after going over number one. You will be typing your alleles in these boxes. You'll be typing your letter combinations into the Punnett square. If you wanna use this example over here, feel free. I just wrote the numbers 25, 25 represent percent chance of having different offspring. You don't have to put the 25 number over here at all. When you're done, make sure you have typed in your genotypes and phenotypes. Remember, genotypes will be different combinations of letters. We did that right here. And then our phenotypes are words, and you'll be typing them over here on the right. When it's time for problem number two, you're told you have a homozygous gray female and a heterozygous male. Well, homozygous gray will mean, homozygous means two of the same letter. So if she's gray and it's gotta be two of the same letter, go back and take a look and see which letter is it gonna be, capital or lowercase, are you gonna have two of to be gray. And heterozygous male, heterozygous means you have a capital and a lowercase. If you have any questions, feel free to Zoom with me or reach out in an email. Thanks so much. Bye.